what's going on guys the horror man back with the next review of the fangoria challenge this time jason and i watched pumpkin head Pumpkinhead is a 1988 horror film starring Lance Henriksen, and according to Fangoria, it's one of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen. Now, admittedly, this is one of the more popular titles on the list, but at the time the book was released, it was a bit more obscure. That's not so much the case today, but regardless, it's on the list, so Jason and I watched it. This is a favorite of mine anyway and even more so, my wife. We watch it every year around this time. The original title of Pumpkinhead was Vengeance, the Demon. I definitely prefer the Pumpkinhead title, even though the monster doesn't actually have a pumpkin head. He is born out of a pumpkin patch, though, so there's that. Lance Henriksen plays a man named Ed Harley, who lives out in the middle of nowhere with his young son Billy and their dog Gypsy. For work, Ed runs a small store. A group of young friends headed to a cabin stop at the store. Some of the guys have brought their motorcycles and plan to go dirt bike riding around the hills. Ed needs to go into town for something and leaves young Billy at home with Gypsy. He instructs him not to leave the house, but Gypsy escapes. When Billy chases after him, that's when tragedy strikes. One of the dirt bikers runs over Billy, and he's killed. His last name is Harley, and he's killed by a motorcycle. How fitting. The friends immediately panic after the accident, especially the guy Joel who hit him. Some of them, though, try to do the right thing and stay with Billy as they call for help. But Joel is afraid they will give him the chair, since he was already involved in a previous accident. Most of the friends head to the cabin with Joel, while one of them stays behind. When Ed Harley returns, he is of course destroyed at the loss of his son. At this point, Ed has pretty much nothing left to live for, except for revenge, or vengeance. And so, with the help of a local farm boy, Ed tracks down a woman named Haggis. She's basically a witch, even though that's never officially stated. He asks Haggis for help with reviving his son, but unfortunately, that is something she cannot do. She does, however, offer Ed the opportunity he needs for vengeance. She directs him where to go to find the grave of Pumpkinhead. Ed travels into the pumpkin patch and returns to Haggis with the body. With magic, using Ed's very own blood, Haggis resurrects Pumpkinhead. Now, Ed Harley and Pumpkinhead are intrinsically linked. As the monster hunts down and kills those involved in Billy's death, Ed can see and feel everything. One by one, the friends are slaughtered, but then Ed has had enough. He didn't think vengeance would be this way, and so he sets out to stop Pumpkinhead himself. It's funny, because despite Pumpkinhead being a fairly popular horror movie now, I still consider it to be highly underrated. First of all, the special effects were immaculate. Stan Winston was a true master of his craft. How is Pumpkinhead not considered maybe the greatest movie monster ever? I would think if this movie was made today, the creature would probably be CGI. But the practical creature effects used in this film are pretty much flawless. Lance Henriksen is fantastic in this role, and it's truly heartbreaking. I'd rank Pumpkinhead up there with Phantasm Ravager as one of the saddest horror movies of all time. You can really feel the connection and emotion Ed has with his son Billy. Billy's death is genuinely tragic. All things considered, it makes it seem as if Pumpkinhead is not the actual villain, but Joel and those who left Billy behind. Pumpkinhead was simply summoned to do a job, and he succeeds for the most part. 
The final shot of the film is also very impactful. I absolutely love Pumpkinhead, and I definitely think it deserves even more attention than it already gets. Like I said, the actual creature just might be the greatest movie monster of all time. This was an easy decision for me. My relatable recommendation is Pumpkinhead 2, Blood Wings. At one point, I actually considered this to be my favorite in the franchise. But the more I watch the original Pumpkinhead, I realize it is definitely the better film. Regardless, I still love this sequel. It has an awesome cast featuring Andrew Robinson, Amy Dolenz, Linnea Quigley, and Soleil Moon Fry before the breast reduction. The black and white flashback scenes are truly disturbing, and the score is chilling. Pumpkinhead 2 Blood Wings is an awesome sequel, and a great companion to the original Pumpkinhead. Have you seen it? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. And please be sure to check out Jason's review. What's up next in the Fangoria Challenge? Check back soon to find out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.